What's going on guys, Brandon here, coming back to guys with a brand new video. We are back, happy new year, happy new semester. Hope everyone's new year went well. I hope you guys are all healthy and safe and doing well. Hope everyone's excited to move into the new year and move into the new semester with a new schedule and get, you know, reacquainted and get to have new experiences this semester and stuff. But before we get to next year, I thought I would take a step back and kind of reflect on last semester and kind of go through some things that I think I could learn from last semester and kind of bring in and help me do better this semester. The first thing I learned from being here in Iowa is that if you guys aren't from Iowa, the weather here can be a little bipolar, even like tripolar. So I would definitely recommend layers. That is my first like takeaway is you definitely need layers because in the morning it can be super cold, in the afternoon it can be super hot, and then at night it can also be really cold. So you're gonna wanna wear layers so that you can always take off when it's getting hot and then put it back on when it gets cold again. But besides the outside weather being bipolar, uh, a lot of the different classrooms themselves are different temperatures and you're going to want to stay comfortable you know while you're trying to learn so layers are going to be your best friend the second thing that i picked up from last semester is that you're going to want to have an umbrella uh just keep an umbrella in your backpack that's what i did um it sometimes it just started raining in the middle of the day and you're you know you have to walk from one class to the next and you want to show up to your next class soaking wet so always have an umbrella in your backpack it's essential um, that definitely saved me a few times. And moving on from the weather tips, um, studying habits. Something that I learned from last semester is that writing stuff down really helped me out. So like, for example, during a lecture, I'll be listening to the professor talk and I'll just be writing down anything that like jumped out at me. I eventually came up with like a system of like who, when, and what. That's all like I really needed to listen out for. And to be honest, that kind of helped me out. I'm not, there's probably other information that they were throwing at you, but the who, what, and when is what I found to be like the most essential stuff. And that's gonna be like one of the most important things to remember for like an exam, so. And so I'd listen to the professor, write those key information down. And then when I got home, I'd rewrite it because in lecture, my handwriting would be like terrible. And as I'm writing stuff in lecture, like the professor's usually talking pretty fast. So I'm usually just kind of scribbling and trying to get, you know, the information down. So it usually comes out looking pretty bad. So when I get home, I rewrite the information in a different book. That way I can actually read what I wrote and actually helps me memorize it a little bit more, writing it twice. Because by that point, I usually understand the material because we've, because I've seen it, I've written it down, I've heard it, and we've talked about it in discussions. So usually it's pretty ingrained in my brain by now. A second studying tip that I learned is try to find a studying partner. Um, that is super important in my opinion. I think that having someone else to bounce your opinions off of and bounce your uh, answers and kind of talk through different problems is super important because it's super important because it helps you understand the material more and it makes it more fun in my opinion because you're with a homie and you're just you know kind of talking through some different problems and you might get sidetracked a little bit but hopefully at the end of the day you get the work done and you understand it so it works out but yeah having a study group or even if it's just a study partner i think is really helpful because some things that you understand that they might understand and vice versa and you guys can just kind of help each other out and work through the problems it makes the homework a lot easier it makes taking exams a lot easier because you kind of remember those combos with your homies and in my opinion that's way easier to remember than to remember like just reading a book or something you know and that brings me into my next point. Uh, my third tip for studying would be to do the readings. Um, whether you do them late or you do them early, I just do the readings because a lot of the readings uh, is the material that will be on the exams. So although the professors are you know, doing their best to articulate that material, if you read it for yourself, you might understand it better. So I would really recommend doing the readings. Uh, they can really help you on your exams. But yeah guys, my first semester was super fun and super challenging. I really enjoyed having to figure out the campus and figuring out these weather tips and studying tips that are kind of different from high school. So you're gonna have to definitely kind of adapt to these changes, but it's definitely something new and it's definitely something interesting and fun. And I'm super excited and looking forward to my second semester here at Iowa. And I'm gonna take you guys with me and keep you guys updated. So I hope you subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.